And I'm a mom. I became eligible to receive the COVID vaccine when I was 28 weeks pregnant. I was initially a little bit nervous, so I decided to evaluate the risks and the benefits. When I considered the risks of getting COVID meant a potential miscarriage or death, that suddenly made my decision really clear. I knew there were potential unknowns about getting the vaccine, but I couldn't think of anything worse than losing my baby or not getting to see my other children grow up. When Stanley was born, we learned he had COVID antibodies and I became so emotional. I knew we were both safe and it filled me with so much hope for the world that together we can finally put an end to this virus. Talk to your doctor about getting vaccinated today. For more information, visit doh.sd.gov. The Black Hills Fox Files, only on Black Hills Fox News at 9. The Bellagio Fountain is an iconic Las Vegas site, but what does it take to keep that show running? Inside the lake, there's a stand, basically kind of how these stands are built. A few bolts holding it down. We have a winch that we just hook up to it, undo the bolts, and then winch it up with the barge, and then pull it in. We'll take you behind the scenes to see what's happening. The Black Hills Fox Files with Jack Cottle, tonight at 9. Of all the sales happening now, one is different. Fisher Furniture's Summer Sale and Clearance. This is the one sale where you get real savings on the home furnishings you really want. Furniture and mattresses, appliances, even HD TVs. Find savings on top of savings in every department. And if that's not enough, take three years to pay interest-free. Once a year summer savings and three years interest-free financing. This is a great time to buy home furnishings. The Summer Sale and Clearance. On now at all three Fearless Fisher stores in Rapid City. You're watching KEVN Black Hills Fox. Oh, is brought to you by Black Hills Federal Credit Union. This is Skyview First Weather at 6. Watch. For some counties highlighted in pink over here, we have Lawrence, Meade, Pennington, Oglala, Lakota, Fall River, Custer, and even Jackson and Bennett counties under that. That goes till 11 o'clock. Some hail and wind are possible with that. So as we go forward here, we are going to be seeing it's dry and spearfish now. A lot of the rain missed this, so thankfully no rain at this event here. But we are seeing those storms down into parts of Pennington and Oglala, Lakota County, and those are severe in northern Oglala, Lakota County. We're zooming in now. The potential for tennis ball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds are possible with that storm and there were previous reports of hail anywhere from quarter to golf ball up to nearly tennis ball size hail from Hayward towards Mount Rushmore and up into the Hill City area. So this storm has already dropped a lot of hail with it. We will be talking more about these storms and also a lot of heat we're tracking in the forecast. I'll have more details on that coming up later in the show. Good evening, I'm Jack Cotta. We are taking the six on the road again tonight. We are here live tonight at Spearfish City Park for the 43rd annual festival in the park. And I'm Miranda O'Brien now. I don't know if this is your 43rd festival, Jack, but this no. is actually my first. It's pretty cool to be out here today. Got a big crowd out here and they will have a big crowd all through the weekend and right now, beautiful weather. Yes, it is gorgeous and we're going to talk more about this event, but first we've got some news for you. All right, thank you, Miranda. Eight years ago, the body of Michelle Will was found badly decomposed in a wooded area here in Pennington County. Today, 53-year-old Richard Melvin Schmitz was arrested at his home near, near Hill City and charged with her murder. Captain Tony Harrison with the Pennington County Sheriff's Office investigation says that over eight years, enough evidence has come forward to present probable cause and warrant the arrest that involved efforts from the Rapid City Police Department, South Dakota Division of Criminal Investigation, and the Custer County Sheriff's Office. He says all four worked hand in hand and were present during today's arrest. Lieutenant Dustin Morrison was at the scene eight years ago alongside the victim's family. Uh, it's just taking so long to be able to give them the answers is the biggest frustration. And, and I'm glad that, you know, today here we sit eight years later, you put in all that work and, and you know, knowing that there was a person, it was somebody's loved one and they, they deserve uh, resolution. You know, this should never happen to anybody. And to be able to, to give them closure is, is so rewarding. 
The evidence that led to the arrest has not been released. The sheriff's office says Schmitz has remained a person of interest in the case and will now face the justice system charged with a second degree murder of Michelle Will. Earlier this year, the Rapid City Police Department asked the city council for $1.8 million to build a second precinct on the west side of town. But there are some in the community who are opposed to this. The Rapid City Police Department has been looking to expand because of the growing population for the past few years. In May, they, at the, they asked the city council for funds to build a second precinct to improve citywide response times. Patrol Captain Josh Olson with the RCPD says in a growing community, West Rapid is growing the fastest. That's where we're getting um, all of our major housing and apartments and things like that are being built even south and west of town. And so we have decentralized a little bit in some of our other, um, you know, police related services. However, some in the community are uncomfortable with the increased police presence in West Rapid City. A campaign called No Second Precinct has taken off on social media to prevent the expansion. And the Northern Hills are hot and dry this year. And as the sun continues to peek through the smoky air, the cattle industry in Western South Dakota is beginning to suffocate. Charles Maud makes 100% of his living off farming in Northern Plains, supplying feed for cattle, typically a field that would produce five 535 bales of hay in a year is only producing 40. Maud says it's getting to the point where the water sources are depleted. This is the first year Spring Creek hasn't ran in, all the way through the summer in probably 10 to 12 years. Um, a little unusual. It, it, the aquifers are starting to get dry. There's some wells that you can't, uh, that aren't producing water like, uh, like they have for my whole lifetime, really. Maud says it's only a matter of time before the issues in the plains catch up with the prices at the grocery stores. The director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the COVID-19 outbreak in the U.S. is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Dr. Rochelle Walensky says cases in the U.S. were up about 70 percent over the last week. Hospital admissions are up 36 percent and deaths rose by 26 percent. Nearly all hospital admissions and deaths, she says, are among the unvaccinated. Wyoming has a lower case number today with a total of 68 new cases, five of those coming from Campbell County. The number of lab controlled active cases drops by 31 today. 62 COVID patients are in the hospital, one more than Thursday. The number of deaths holds at 760 for another day. A controversial t-shirt sold at a bar in the Equality State, but some say the shirt isn't very inclusive. Sold at the Eagle's Nest in Cheyenne, this shirt featuring profanity, threats of violence, and an anti-gay slur has made national headlines. According to the owner of the Eagle's Nest, the shirt has sold out. He says sales exploded after national attention. He also claims customers are asking for more, but not everyone is a fan of the shirt. This shirt tells us something about Cheyenne, and it tells us um, that there are parts of our community that are not welcoming to LGBTQ folks, right? And that when we describe Cheyenne as a welcoming place, that some of us experience that welcome differently. Are we? The Eagle's Nest owner says he will stop selling the t-shirt. Well, a wildfire in Montana is now forcing evacuations. But how many homes are in the direct threat of the blaze? We're going to have more after the break. Black Hills Federal Credit Union. We improve lives. When we started back in 1941, we didn't have much. Just a lone living room in Rapid City where our members could meet. And a belief that if we could help each other in the best of times and the worst of times, we'd all be better off. And that isn't ever going to change.
Fisher Furniture, we custom fit your mattress to fit your body with our computerized scientific testing system in only three minutes. Get any size Sealy, twin, full, queen, or king for one low price. Only $149 each piece firm, $249 each piece cushion firm, $299 each piece plush, and $349 each piece plush Euro top. Choose your firmness, Sealy, any size for one low price. And get three years no interest at Peerless Fisher Furniture on West Main in Rapid City. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. Motorcycles, music, freedom, and fun. This is the Sturgis Buffalo Chip. Ron Woodruff presents the best nine nights of your life. August 6th through the 15th, concerts are free with camping. Attention, attention. Get your passes now. It's about to get heavy. Legendary Sturgis Buffalo Chip. Presented by Dyco Motorcycle. It's the best party anywhere. The Six on the Rope is brought to you by Black Hills Federal Credit Union. Welcome back. We are live here at the Spearfish City Park as we take the Six on the Road for the 43rd Annual Festival in the Park. Kyler Flock is with us now. He's the coordinator of this year's event. Last year, because of the pandemic, like everything else, you had to cancel. How excited are you guys to get back out here in the park again this year? We are so excited, Jack, to be back here. You know, it just means so much to this community. This event, being around for 43 years, it's got so much history, you know, and being that it's, you know, a giant fundraiser for the uh, arts organization, organization that we work for, you know, bringing, you know, financial help in to bring it back out into the community, you know, all the proceeds tonight go straight to free arts programming. So just those little things alone just kind of show how excited we are to be back here in this park tonight. So what is there for people to see this weekend? You guys go through Sunday. Uh, how's your vendor response this year? The vendor response was really great. You know, coming off of COVID year, there's always going to be, a, you know, a few less, but we've got, you know, we've got all kinds of different vendors from coast to coast from LA to Miami we've got 20 different food vendors you know eight different bands throughout the weekend so you know come on down and come check out all these amazing vendors I mean now you guys are kind of selective for vendors there are certain things that you can and can't sell here correct that's right yeah so we only do uh, things that are homemade and handcrafted uh, which we just think kind of brings in some of the most unique uh, crafts and booths and really speaks to the arts now the weather perfect right now one of the big challenges down here every year of course is parking yes, yes. Uh, that, that can be tough. So how do you guys handle that? So we've got a, a new solution for that this year. We've actually got a, a shuttle service that can take you to and from the park. And all you got to do is go to Spearfish High School. The high school was generous enough to let us use that space. And so you go and park there, and our good friends from uh, Prairie Hills Transit will uh, bus you down to the park, drop you off right over there, and you don't even have to worry about driving. All right. So what time we got uh, tonight here is wristband night. You have to pay to get in tonight. That's but right. Free Saturday and Sunday. What time uh, on those days? So free Saturday, Sunday, that's correct. So 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday, and then 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. All right, good luck. Thank Hopefully you very this much. Stays like this <laughs> Absolutely, all weekend. no kidding. Your dream come true. Yes, all right, Tyler Fox, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, the Adler Creek Fire in Missoula, Montana, has forced evacuations there. The Beaverhead County Sheriff's Office says 38 homes were evacuated due to the blaze on Thursday. According to the Sheriff's Office, an affected highway was reopened, but additional closures may occur. The wildfire grew to nearly 3,500 acres overnight. And NASA says rising sea levels is becoming an urgent problem that could lead to record flooding in U.S. coastal regions. According to a new study by NASA that was published in the Nature Climate Change Journal, the perfect storm of global warming and the effect of the moon's orbit will lead to a surge of flooding as soon as the next decade. That pushes the deadline for worsening flooding forward about 70 years, and scientists warn low-lying areas near sea level are increasingly at risk. NASA hopes the information will be used by city planners to plan accordingly in their construction projects to protect the environment and people's life. Livelihood. 
And despite a rebound in retail sales reported for June, stocks actually ended up in the red. But despite that downturn today, the Dow and S&P finished the week just slightly lower. Let's take a look at today's numbers. The Dow was down 298 to 34,688. The S&P lost 31 to 4,328. And the NASDAQ was down 145 to 14,430. For the break. Of all the sales happening now, one is different. Fisher Furniture's Summer Sale and Clearance. This is the one sale where you get real savings on the home furnishings you really want. Furniture and mattresses, appliances, even HD TVs. Find savings on top of savings in every department. And if that's not enough, take three years to pay interest-free. Once a year summer savings and three years interest-free financing. This is a great time to buy home furnishings. The Summer Sale and Clearance. On now at all three Fearless Fisher stores in Rapid City. As you plan your summer outings, make sure to visit these hot springs attractions and businesses. For beginners and veterans of the fiber arts, Fall River Fibers has the products you're looking for. From high quality bison yarn and fiber to felting supplies for that special project, you'll find it all at Fall River Fibers. They're more than just a place to buy supplies. Fall River Fibers, where creativity abounds. Featuring art by 35 local artisans, Chautauqua Artisan Market in Hot Springs brings together a wide variety of unique handmade jewelry, paintings, paper art, metalwork pieces, and more. Visit them on River Street or check them out at ChautauquaBlackHills.org to see their schedule of arts and crafts classes. Quality and freshness come together at your hometown grocer, Lynn's Dakota Mart in Hot Springs. For the freshest produce and best cuts of meat, Lynn's is your one stop for all your needs. And Lynn's Pharmacy is here to take care of you and your prescriptions. The better choice for quality and freshness is Lynn's Dakota Mart in Hot Springs. Denny Menhold Auto Group now offers access to flexible payment plans for parts and service. Just scan your driver's license to get instant approval with no ding to your credit. Instant results give you flexible payment options, including 90 days no interest. Go ahead and pick your plan, and you're ready to get back on the road without a big upfront bill. Get the parts and service you need today, and pay over time. Just another way that Denny Menhold Auto Group is working for you. That's just how we roll. Hi, I'm Ron Burns. I've lived most of my life here in the Lee Deadwood area. I have lots of friends and family around here, so it's tough when I know somebody's battling cancer. The Foundation for Health, partnering with the Days of 76 Rodeo Committee, are committed to helping those fighting cancer here in the Black Hills. During the month of July, you can buy your Tough Enough to Wear pink shirts. Proceeds stay here in the Black Hills to fight cancer. You're tough, join us with your pink shirts. Grab some couch and watch The Simpsons. Sundays, only on Black Hills Fox. This is Skyview Weather at 6. Welcome back. While the weather is pretty nice and quiet here in Spearfish, there are severe you. thunderstorms impacting the area. And right now we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in place that goes until 11. Looking at radar, it seems as if Mead, Lawrence and Custer counties are pretty much in the clear with severe weather. Eastern Pennington County, parts of Oglala, Lakota, Bennett, Jackson counties are the ones that are still going to be seeing that severe weather. This goes until 11 p.m. tonight. So we take a look. Spearfish did have a close call, getting a little bit of a shower and thunderstorm coming just to the south, but it did miss, thankfully, keeping many of those here dry. Now we look off towards the southeast. There's still that thunderstorm that is producing some pretty large hail. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Oglala, Jackson and Bennett counties, and we're going to be seeing the potential for golf ball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds with that storm. So that one's going to be ongoing. It does move southeast, so give it a couple more hours and it will move into Nebraska and things will start to clear up for us for the rest of the night. Now as we kind of take a look here, we did see some smoky skies today from those wildfires burning out towards the west. What we are watching here locally is most of that into the northern plains as we go throughout the region. We're going to be seeing the smoke linger likely throughout the weekend. So those fires burning in Oregon, Washington, Idaho and others 
that's the smoke that's moving through. We are seeing that smoke wildfire model here showing a lot of that smoke continue throughout the day tomorrow. Now, northeast Wyoming, it shows a little bit of clearing, but here in western South Dakota, especially out on the plains, it's not really doing much in terms of clearing for us. We're going to be seeing kind of a northerly flow near us, bring that smoke back down to the region. We're going to be seeing much of western South Dakota, like I said, especially on the plains with that smoke throughout the day on Saturday and on Sunday once again. So probably going to be a smoky, hazy summer here with those fires that are burning out west. Pretty early this year, the one in Oregon has already turned 200,000 acres plus. For tomorrow, it's going to be another hot one, 92 degrees, but we do have some afternoon storms that are possible. We're going to be watching those pop up around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon here or there, and then they'll start to slide out of the area by the time we get to the evening hours. And as we go forward over the next four days, those temperatures, they're not cooling off for us. We have 90s, 92 Saturday, 94 Sunday, 91 Monday, back in the mid 90s on Tuesday. Now after Tuesday, it's going to get hot. We'll talk about those numbers in the seven day forecast. But for Sheridan starting tomorrow evening and going or actually this or noon Saturday through 9 p.m. Thursday, there's an excessive heat warning in place. Temperatures will range from anywhere from 102 to 107 degrees. You want to stay hydrated, stay out of the heat as much as possible. And if you have to be outside, you want to be very careful and stay hydrated and take many breaks in the shade. So for tonight, we have lows in the 60s. Skies are going to be mostly clear for us. Highs tomorrow in the 90s for much of the area, 80s up into the higher elevations of the Black Hills. And as we take a look at the seven day forecast here, we are going to be looking at temperatures by the end of next week, flirting with 100 consecutive days in a row. We have Wednesday, Thursday and Friday near 100 degrees. It's going to get very hot. We'll keep an eye on if those linger into next weekend. But as of now, just kind of prepare for a very hot seven days. All right, thank you, David. Well, a previously canceled concert due to the pandemic is coming back this year. And could it draw in larger crowds? We're going to find out what's being done after the break. Furniture Rose Super 7 Day Sale. That's seven days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks for every thousand you spend, plus four years no interest and free shipping. The Super 7 Day Sale, on now at Furniture Row. It took us years to find the perfect bun for Culver's Pretzel House Pub Burger. It's got the nice pretzel flavor on the outside, but when you open it up, it's light and airy. It's got a nice sweet flavor to it. It literally melts in your mouth. This bun is perfect for a Pretzel House Pub Burger. Seared brush beef, tangy mustard bistro sauce, pickled red onions, two slices of bacon, served with our signature cheddar cheese sauce. This bun was made for this burger. This is perfect. I think it's an awesome burger. Welcome to Delicious. Make plans now to attend the largest arts and music festival in the Black Hills. Black Hills Fox and the Matthews Opera House and Arts Center invite you to the 43rd Annual Festival in the Park, July 16th through 18th. Events kick off Friday with a $5 wristband fundraiser night. Preview over 150 vendors and enjoy live music from 4 to 10 p.m. Plus, there's plenty of fun and activities for the whole family all weekend long. The 43rd Annual Festival in the Park, brought to you by the Matthews Opera House and Arts Center, Black Hills Fox, and these fine sponsors. In the world of precious metals, what goes down must come up. You know what that means. Gold prices are on the rise again. The professionals at Presidential Pawn are ready to buy. Bring in your gold and silver bullion jewelry, coin collections, sterling flatware, and service sets. Bring it all. Presidential Pawn's knowledgeable and professional staff pays top dollar every day. Sell your gold and silver to the experts you already know and trust at Rapid City's legendary Presidential Pawn. 7th and St. Joe, downtown. Looking for great sleep at a great price? Denver Mattress has you covered. And during the Super 7 Day Sale, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, plus four years no interest and free shipping. Say goodbye to sleepless nights and shop Denver Mattress today. It's time to get together. He said he'll fit on me. See why we have you behind a shield? <laughs> Judge Mathis. Weekdays at 1. The 6 on the road is brought to you by Black Hills Federal Credit Union. Welcome back. I'm here with Ty Gardner. He is one of many vendors here at the festival in the park. Now you own Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. So Ty, tell me what exactly you guys have. It sounds pretty, you know, self-explanatory, but yeah, we are we're a family of 14 siblings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and um, we we bring our artisan cheese and sausage out from Central Wisconsin, where our creamery is. Um, we've got probably in the realm of. 
20 to 30 different flavors of specialty artisan cheese and sausage. Mm -hmm. Our number one seller, for example, is our buffalo wing cheese. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, it's a cheese that's <laughs> not spicy. Everybody loves it. Burgers, shredded in chili, grilled awesome. cheese sandwiches, things like that. And um, our second best seller, my favorite, is our eight-year-old super sharp cheddar. Ooh, okay, that so that's good. a cheddar that we don't even put out for normal sampling. We call it the behind Ooh. the table cheese. Okay, so when we're done, you're gonna go grab it. Yeah, yeah, them, that's right? right, that's right, yeah. <laughs> that one there, you know, it's more expensive because it's a cheddar we've been aging for eight years. Awesome. But when uh, when you want a glass of your favorite wine or your favorite beer, that's the cheddar that's gonna go with it. So you guys clearly aren't from South Dakota. What brought you here to the festival in the park? It was probably about a decade ago that we came out to the show for the first time. And uh, we come from beautiful country but this is like next level stuff out here especially oh, when our booth faces the river <laughs> and uh, and so we bring the family out here I've got five little ones and uh, we bring the whole family out here and we make a weekend of it perfect little so. vacation yes so it probably feels really good to be back out and about being able to do things like this again so tell me a little bit about that yeah, it was a struggle last year you know for sure our website thank God floated us through you know and uh, but now we're back at it. The people of Spearfish, I mean, this show is just, it's one of our best of the year. Good. And it's our favorite situation where we're next to the river and all that kind of stuff. And everybody's so nice around here. Uh, <laughs> Minnesota. Nice. Yeah, yeah, the Midwest nice is for sure a thing out here. Yeah. So that's good to hear. Yeah. So there's a pretty big crowd, and you know, this started not too long ago. So what's the crowd look like for your guys' booth? It's been awesome. Um, we get a ton of repeat customers that are just used to buying from us every year, you know. And then we bring on new flavors all the time and things like that. So we got smoky bacon chips cheddar now and aged gouda and things like that so uh, they're always coming back for their favorites and then also checking out what's new sounds good so you know festival in the park is this weekend but if somebody from South Dakota loves your cheese wants to find you again is there anywhere else you're gonna be uh, the best thing probably would be to order online it's gardenerswisconsincheese.com we offer free cold pack shipping on orders of 35 bucks or more and right now we're running a special where if you spend 50 bucks or more you get a free bag of cheese curds go along with it as well awesome well thank you so much ty i wish you hadn't told me that website because i love cheese <laughs> i might have to order some but i'll be over to try some out here in a little bit thanks so much now festival in the park isn't the only thing that was postponed this last year the popular outdoor christian music festival hills alive is set to return to the Black Hill stage this weekend. Nearly a dozen bands will take the stage at Memorial Park to perform their own spin on Christian music. After the annual festival was canceled last year due to COVID, organizers hope that this year's event will draw a large crowd. I think it's going to be really big this year. We've been getting a lot of good, positive responses from people, and so I think it's going to be huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so You're fine. Fun. You're good. The show kicks off both Saturday and Sunday at noon and continues throughout the night. You know, I gotta say, it's a little tough working out here because we're in the middle of all this food, You're all right. the talk of food. <laughs> and we need know. some food. I think we have to get some. Maybe during the break, we'll have to eat when we come back. We'll see what's coming. We'll be right back after this. From where I'm sitting, looks like you need floors that can handle spills. Yikes. And right now at Floor and Home Carpet One, during our Don't Stress the Mess flooring sale, get a great deal on stain resistant floors from luxury vinyl to hardwood, carpet, and tile. Save up to 50%. Plus, get three years no interest at Floor and Home Carpet One, here to floor you. Your paycheck. Your family depends on it. But if something happened to you, you need life insurance. And chances are, SelectQuote can get it for you for under a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Michael, 38, a $500,000 policy for under $23 a month. SelectQuote found Anna, 37, a $750,000 policy for under $23 a month. SelectQuote's secret? They comparison shop a select group of great companies like these for your best rate. Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Since 1985, SelectQuote has saved over a million families millions of dollars on life insurance. Call now, 1-800-210-5727. That's 1-800-210-5727. Or go to SelectQuote.com. Discover what over a million families know. We shop, you save. 
Motorcycles, music, freedom, and fun. This is the Sturgis Buffalo Chip. Ron Woodruff presents the best nine nights of your life. I'm ready for August 6th through the 15th, concerts are free with camping. Get your passes now. Cause it's about to get heavy. The legendary Sturgis Buffalo Chip. Presented by Geico Motorcycle. It's the best party anywhere. Great smiles build confidence, and the Community Health Center of the Black Hills believes starting at an early age is the key to good dental habits, and so are regular dental checkups as an adult. Now our oral health services are available at two locations in a friendly, comfortable, and caring environment. We see new patients every day of any age, and yes, walk-ins are welcome. We're all part of a team ready to work to ensure your family's best dental health. Community Health Centers of the Black Hills, where you'll feel better knowing just how much we really care. We have storms still rolling through the area. Oglala, Lakota County is the one that has the strongest storms. We have golf ball size hail, if not potentially larger possible with that storm as it moves near Oglala south. So if you live in Pine Ridge or to the east towards Martin, you're going to want to watch out for that storm. Even Wombly could be seeing some gusty winds and some small hail with this storm. But for tonight, we're mostly clear. Temperatures falling down to about 65 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going to be warming up to 92. Afternoon storms are possible. And looking at that seven day forecast, it gets hot. We're we're talking potential triple digits by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. So I'm looking around trying to decide, do we have uh, do we have snow cones, do we have corn <laughs> dogs for dinner, what, what's the deal? I think we have one of everything, that's what I, I might agree. choose. There's three what of us. What an amazing plan. We can split up. We can share. <laughs> <laughs> Great deal. Again, we're live here at the Spearfish Festival in the park. They are going to be here tonight. They're here tomorrow till 7, Sunday till 4. Uh, is the weather going to stay this perfect all weekend? Oh, I hope so. There's a chance of storms tomorrow afternoon, but Sunday it's going to be nice. Very hot right. though. Yeah. Great place to go eat, buy some nice art. Might like have to you, come back. This like is my first one. Like you said, it's only handcrafted stuff. You can't uh, nothing you're wholesaling out here. Perfect. We'd love time. to see that. That'll do it for us. Thanks for joining us for Six on the Road. Bye guys. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. I've fallen and I can't get up. Don't worry, help is on the way. With any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately and batteries never need charging. I was having a stroke and I was scared to death. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Life Alert is a lifesaver. My husband is alive because of Life Alert. Life Alert is the lifesaver to keep me out of assisted living. Life Alert saves a life every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-344-6363. That's 1-800-344-6363. Call now, 1-800-344-6363. Hey, look what I got, everybody. Newspapers? Did you find a portal back to the 1990s? <laughs> If he had that, he'd be trying to prevent NSYNC from breaking up. <laughs> oh, please, I'm glad they broke up. Otherwise, Justin would never have brought Sexy back. <laughs> hey, one thing you can't get on an iPad, the smell of ink and paper. <laughs> one more reason iPads are better. <laughs> they reviewed my planetarium show. Yeah, it's on page three of the arts and leisure section. They still have far side. No, I don't get that one. Oh, he's pushing when he should be pulling. Oh, I don't think he belongs in that gifted school then. <laughs> what are you doing? Making a boat. When I was a kid, my dad showed me how. Well, you'll do anything to avoid reading. <laughs> Guys, it's under things to do this weekend. I can't find it. What does it say? That is a thing to do this weekend. <laughs> well, that's great, Raj. Congratulations. You know, while we're bragging, the Journal of Prosthetic Medicine just wrote up the 